In Malacanang, presidential spokesman Ernesto Abelia stressed that the president is unshaken by threats to his life. Secretary Abelia said nothing would deter President Duterte in his war against drugs, crime and terrorism. In a press briefing, Abelia also said the series of killings of persons involved in illegal drugs were not state-sanctioned. Rocky Ignacio with his report. Presidential spokesperson Ernesto Abella said that drug killings are not state-sanctioned. The palace official said this in response to a bishop's statement that the anti-illegal drugs campaign of the Duterte administration is worse than martial law. We'd like to refer to uh, Bishop Bacani's statement that uh, drug killings are worse than martial law. First, we'd just like to refer to the fact that drug killings, again, are not state-sanctioned and that we also have to clearly and carefully make reference to the fact that certain deaths involving policemen may actually be cleansing operations by scalawags in uniform and that these matters are already under investigation. Abelia added that President Rodrigo Duterte is not worried on the alleged assassination plot against him. He said this report is not something new for the president. He's aware that his campaign against illegal drugs would put him on target. The Philippine National Police earlier presented confiscated firearms that allegedly is intended for use against the president. However, the alleged plot will not affect the president's activities. Assassinate. Well, you know, like if you listen to the president, he... he, he he eats it for breakfast. You know, <laughs> you know these threats, he eats threats for breakfast. Meaning to say, it's not, it's not something new to him. It's not, he has said again and again that he puts his life, his honor, the presidency on the line for his campaign. So uh, it's something that the president, it, it should give us cause. It's a, call it, uh, you know, it's a very heroic stand. It's a very heroic stand. And, uh, in, in that case, it's a, it's a, it, because he really understands that there is a call to war, both in several fronts already, war on drugs, war on terrorism, and war on crime. So he's really engaged in several fronts, and he's very, very well aware that his life is constantly under threat. Abele added that the first phase of illegal drugs campaign of the government was a success. We'd also like to emphasize the fact that phase one of the campaign against drugs has been successfully uh, has, has been successfully uh, implemented and mainly to create awareness of the depth of the drug menace. That phase two of the campaign has already started with the investigation of police officers involved in illegitimate operations. It is important to note that in less than a hundred days or just about the third month just under the third month of the Duterte administration, we have already achieved positive results. Meanwhile, Abele said that groundwork for rehabilitation center offered by China has started in northern Luzon. For PTV News, Rock Ignacio.